Oh, yo, hi everybody, it's uh, Mark from Kingsham Table Tennis Club here. Back again to give you a very uh, short video, just a little update of uh, how the table tennis has gone this week here at Kingsham Table Tennis Club and Bath Table Tennis Club. So, uh, firstly, dining right back to last Saturday, um, as I mentioned in the previous video, the, we had um, some juniors competing in the Bath, I think it's called the Closed uh, Championship. I, I, Got it wrong. Some people in the comments are saying I got it wrong last time, calling it an open. But yeah, the junior bath uh, competition then. Um, we had four contestants from Kingsham Table Tennis Club competing in that last Saturday. Um, and uh, so the under 15s competition, uh, we actually had the finalist and the runner up again for the, I say second year running. The first year was before COVID. Um, then it was obviously shut for a couple of years. This is the second year it's been running again. Again, sort of thing but anyway we had uh, again the winner and the runner-up so uh, young Andy uh, Wee's son was the runner-up in the under 15s and he was beaten by uh, Joshua so well done Joshua um, you know he's becoming another player now um, he's gonna do very very well on the local scene here and possibly further afield so looks of like things to come from him being only 13 playing in the under 15s and young Andy only being 12 and then there was the under 19s competition. Um, so it was under 18s, but obviously extended because of COVID for another age group. Uh, I think it was Leon Cashton Brown won that competition. Um, I think he's possibly won it before. A uh, very talented uh, premier player from the local area. But um, young Josh again came runner up in that uh, competition. So for being just 13 years old and um, you know competing against potentially 18, uh, 18 year olds in that competition, um, his remarkable achievement uh, in the uh, in, I think it was in the semis he beat uh, Nathan who is our previous under 15s champion and again he beat young Andy along the way to get there uh, and then we also had Andy Quinn competing in the under 19s as well um, and so all four of them did uh, very very well in uh, you know just getting there and uh, yeah trying their best and doing what we do here at Kenshin week in week out um, it's led to a couple of comments, um, you know, from local league players as to what we're sort of doing here and how we can utilise it. I mean, all I'm doing is just giving uh, these, you know, you know, young men and young women, if they come along, um, the chance to express themselves and play the game we all love and enjoy. So there's no secret formula. Um, I'd invite anyone from the Bath and Bristol or even further afield local leagues come down and have a look, see how we're running Kingsham Table Tennis Club because, you know, I'm very big on empowerment of players in the room. Uh, very big on promotion of their achievements, uh, you know, online and you know, getting the social stuff up together. We've also introduced a lot of um, returning players back to the league as well. So, yeah, it's just something I'm really passionate about doing. So, rolling on from there, on the Monday, we have the Bath uh, Table Tennis Club, my new uh, my new little project, if you like. Uh, that's going really well. We've had, you know, sort of 17 um, people attending each week now. Um, about the second or third week has been running. Um, and yeah, we've got a bit of an older mix there, um, a lot more women playing there, so about four or five women each week have turned up and hopefully enjoyed themselves to, to come again in the future. And again, that's a project that really is, um, you know, unique for me because there's already a base of people, uh, you know, who knew about those sessions historically um, through the work of the league and Ken Milsom over the last sort of 10 or 12 years. Again, I correct myself on saying less than 10 as I did last week. Um, but yes, there's been a lot of um, interest, especially from the ladies who competed in the uh, women's only sessions that the Bath League ran as well a couple of years back. Uh, so yeah, really nice to see a different group of people, a more uh, experienced, more mature group of people, um, you know, step to the table and give it give it their all in the same format I run Kingsham in. So, you know, very much player empowerment in the room, gets to play who they want to play, um, you know, no swearing, um, bits and pieces like this, you know, having fun, lots of energy, lots of games rapidly coming hopefully um so you know i adjust it on the day uh, as to how many people are in the room and you know how we're doing really so tonight you know as you can see we just finished at kingsham table tennis club so i've managed to play a little bit tonight we only had around 12 or 13 people i think it was in the room but it it made for a lot of intense games and you know really good practice uh young joshua and nathan were both there in the room tonight um and both sort of replayed their uh their semi-final i think it was performance with this time nathan coming out on top uh, so again, Nathan is another chap I've been, you know, very proud of over the last few years. He's been coming almost since day one with Kingsham Table Tennis Club, and uh, he's been competing in the Bath and District uh, Division Two League this year, where he's done 
uh, remarkably well, I'd say, winning uh, sort of two thirds of his games so far. There's still plenty of games left to play. So, you know, he's been playing a lot of the top players in that league and, you know, competing well against them. So he can definitely hold his uh, head, you know, high, really. And, you know, um, Mr. Nathan's dad, a.k.a. Andy, um, you know, has, has been coming to our club as well almost since day one. Um, haven't seen you much lately, Andy, so you need to get back to it soon. Um, you know, practice those spinny shots that you have. It'd be great. So, yeah, that's all I really want to say tonight, really. Just, um, you know, pleased with how those competitions went on the weekend. Um, even uh, one of our Rosonian players, Mark Long, uh, competed in the handicap competition, finished third in his group with um, John Hunter, another one who comes to our club, a bit more experienced league player, pipping him to uh, second place in that group. So Mark just missed out on getting through his next round of the cup. But again, um, magnificent effort from someone, you know, who's taken up table tennis, um, you know, in his sort of, you know, late 20s, um, early 30s. Um, but was all into it, got himself uh, independently into a league team. Um, and yeah, hopefully next season we can, you know, have more Kentrum teams, you know, possibly a D team competing in a Batten district leagues and bring on, you know, a lot of the players, um, returning players and uh, youngsters from our club to uh, really kick on the key centre, which is our sort of feeder club or the club that we feed into. Um, so we're the feeder club to the key centre. So Kentrum table, you know what I mean. Um, so yeah, we're... Uh, we're feeding into that team and it's gone really well um, with the C team so far. Um, you know, all of us, uh, Ken, myself, Sue, we'll have a sit down uh, in the summer months and you know, come up with a plan to hopefully um, develop more players from our club. But anyway, guys, that's it for tonight. I'm pretty tired. I need to get some food. Um, so, yeah, hopefully I will see you again uh, next week. So, again, next Monday, back Table Tennis Club down at Oldfield Park, St. John's uh, School, uh, 5.15 to 7.15. at a cost of £5 pounds, um, per player. And similarly, on the Thursday night, we've got Kensham Table Tennis Club, my baby. That is happening Thursday night at 7 p.m. till 9 p.m. Um, and we sometimes play a little bit longer, as we have done tonight. Again, cost of £5 per player. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. Um, please subscribe, like, share if uh, you want to help uh, grow table tennis from a secret sport to a mainstream sport. Anyway, all the best and see you soon. Cheers.